welcome to today's video, which is going to be a wee bit different from normal because although I've booked everything you're about to see today, I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm passing the camera over to my glamorous assistant and she has got no idea where she's going tonight or what she's let herself in for. This is going to be exciting. So here is your golden envelope. Thank you. Very nice. Can I open it? Yep. You must have some clue where you're going because it is like Thursday night. Well, I guess if I'm leaving tonight, it will be overnight journey. I think so. The road ahead, it will be tough. Open if you're brave enough. Oof, love the rhymes. Look at the effort. Yeah, I did go with some effort here, you know. I can see it, I can see it. You can open the first one. Oh, I'll open it now. If that seat it will be filled, you must find the street of guilt. What do you think of that? Okay, I'll Google it. I'll give you a clue, you're actually quite close to it. Oh, guilt street. She did say she would be up for any challenge, so I wonder what she's going to think when she actually finds out where she's going tonight. I assume it's a bus station. Oh, could be. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Overnight bus? Yeah. Buses? My, my lips are sealed. Buses? We'll see. I think you might need some supplies. Do you want to go to m and Yes. Let's do it. Will I need some supplies? Will I need I supplies? think you'll need some supplies. My supplies. You've got your bag, which, yes. yeah. I'm not sure what's in that, but you're ready, aren't you? I'm mentally ready. I can confirm you need something to eat because you're going to be a long time wherever you're going. I am not buying any drinks because I'm not going to the bathroom for hours, is that right? Yeah. Mm. You're onto this, aren't you? Yeah. You know what you're doing. I know what to expect, kind of, yes. It will be tough. You're very suspicious. <laughs> Jesus, 5.25. Buy it, that's a bargain. Oh, I might get this for myself. Because I'm eating alone tonight. I love how you've got no idea where you're going. I'm expecting the worst. I'm just heading back to the car with the pizza and I'm on my own for a wee moment so I can tell you that I'm a wee bit worried about this one now. Alicia did say she's up for any challenge but I'm just wondering whether I've gone too far with this. We're about to find out. So this is Union Square Shopping Centre in Aberdeen. Now in front of us is the railway station, but that way is the bus station. And yep, you were right. You're going on a bus tonight. I had the feeling. I actually never realised there was a train station here. I mean, I knew it, but I forgot. That's why I said, oh, it would be a bus. I, I thought remember... you were being smart. No, I just forgot. I remember taking a bus um, from Aberdeen to Edinburgh, so I knew the bus station is here, but yeah. Right, time to open the next window. Let's do it. For a bus, now you must catch its destination on this patch. This patch? That's the one. Oh, that's my destination! London. So what do you think about that? I am very excited. Good. Can I keep the patch? You can keep the patch. That's even better. Okay. How long is the journey then? My lips are sealed. Let's go! Is it like just direct bus or do I have to swap buses or get like catch connections? Direct bus. You're gonna have to use the bus toilet. How long? I can I don't hold know, it's it. about 13 hours. Oh no, I cannot hold it for 13 hours. Can we go to the bathroom now? Yes. <laughs> when is my bus leaving? In about half an hour, I think. Okay. What have I done? So here we are at a very wet Aberdeen bus station. We've just found out that Flixbus leave round the corner, but that's not undercover. And as I'll show you just now, it's absolutely chucking it down. I was going to say something else there. So I guess this is as good a time as any to hand over the camera. This will be very easy to do, by the way. It's all yours. Thank you. Are you ready for this? I am ready for this. 
Good luck. Come here. Good luck. You got this. Are you guys ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I'm away. I'll see you very soon. Just follow the instructions on the card. Okay. And that should get you back to Montrose. Well, I'll do my best. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And eleven. It's my boss. Look at the Oh, how are you doing? Good, how are you? the box over there? That's okay. Oh, that's alright, just make sure you don't want it. Yeah, just don't get it just between the guys. Alright, thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Just give me a second, sorry, I'm moving oh, my bag for you. No worries. Sorry, we get a minimum of four to five minutes. I need to get my bag out. So oh, bless you. Alright, we should just stand here. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. Oh, even how many travel too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just ready to come on. Okay. Hi, folks. Good evening. We're going to run a bus bus service down to London. We just want to thank you for a few hours today. Transport passengers, please put your seatbelt on. That's the legal requirement. Excuse safety rules and regs over this coach. No drinking, no alcohol. No smoking. That's what they need to last in the coach. Where will we call it? Shut. Where will we call it, Dundee? Death Roston, don't tell me how to fucking ride.
Toilets to in Edinburgh after three hours of driving. Now I'm going back because I want him to leave me. You okay that I wake you up? I am good. I thought I'll give you an update. Uh, we are in Edinburgh. When did we start? Um, three hours ago. And we have like 15 minutes stop, so I managed to go to the bathroom. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, because I wasn't feeling very um, confident, you know, talking. Um, so I thought, oh, maybe it will give me like a courage to say something to the camera. <laughs> I just want to disturb people when they're like quiet and when it's, you know, quiet and stuff. Yes, there's two drivers. We had two drivers, they swapped in Dunfermline. Was it Dunfermline after Perth? I think so. And they lifted up the um, the thing, which was kind of covering half of the windscreen. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it didn't really matter because the whole journey from Aberdeen to Dundee, it was just darkness anyway. <laughs> so obviously I'm sitting behind the driver. Um, which is cool because now I have a good view. I have plenty of light room. Definitely. I've got a table, but I feel like people behind me have better tables because they can put their phones up. And I have space for my stuff, which is cool. And I have second seat for myself, so that's good. Bye bye. Okay.
This is London, Victoria. If you have any connections to catch, please proceed through the building to the left, across the street and into departures. That's the street building to the left, across the street and into departures. London, Victoria. Thank you. Enjoy Are we going to be YouTube famous? <laughs> we, have a, we have a guy on here regularly from Flames Trains and Automobiles. Oh yeah, I know that yeah, guy. Yeah, he comes oh, in. He's lovely. He's such a nice guy. Well. I've had him a few times. Alright, he's lovely. Well guys, thanks. Have a good day. You too. So I made it to London, 14 hours on the bus. Now, please, everyone tells me in the comments that I do not look like I spent 14 hours on the bus. Um, but it actually felt okay and I had some sleep. I do have a list of things to talk about, but I'll find a quieter place. Maybe I'll sit down and I'll have a look at my envelopes. I'll open another one and I'll have some coffee. One thing I must say while I remember, that was such a silent, still journey. I didn't talk for 14 hours at all. I was just sitting in a silence and everyone was just totally silent. So I was not brave enough to say anything to the camera, which was quite funny. But it's not quiet here anymore, so I can talk. Um, it's fine. I didn't want to disturb people as well because everyone was sleeping. There was nobody talking, watching anything. That looks like a coffee shop. Um, I just didn't want to disturb people because I could see everyone was trying to sleep and even drivers were not talking at all. Uh, they didn't listen to radio or anything so I thought okay I'll be kind and I won't even whisper. Um, I don't know how you guys do it, guys that record the videos on the buses. Um, it's such a small place, it feels so awkward to be talking to the camera. Everyone is looking at you. Everyone knows that you have a camera. Obviously you try not to record them, but I don't know how you do it. Maybe if I would do it a few times, it would be better. Um, <laughs> but it's a funny experience. Okay, so I did go to the first coffee shop I could find just because I really needed the bathroom. And that's my notes. Number one, the hydration is a key. Um, the only toilet stop we had was in Edinburgh. And that was the only stop with semi-bus station where we stopped for 15 minutes. So we had enough time to go outside and actually walk to the bathroom, um, use the restroom and come back. Apart from that, I noticed most of the time in England the bus would stop on the street, just on the normal stop, so obviously there's nowhere to go. Um, and even if it was a bus station, it would be maybe three, four minutes stop, people were leaving and then other people were coming in. There was just no time um, to actually pop into the restroom, so... Well, you can always use the toilet on the bus, but I did not want to do it. <laughs> So I just didn't drink the whole day uh, before it because I didn't know that I might struggle. Either if it's bus, um, tram, plane, I just never go to the bathroom until it's a train. Trains are fine. I'm sorry, that's a really long speech about my um, toilet habits, but yeah. Very cold at night, warm socks and blanket needed. So there were people having blankets, I had the warm socks with me just in case and I had my PJ because I knew I'll be probably doing something overnight. Um, but I never had a time or opportunity to put my PJ on. I had the socks so that was fine. I regret I didn't have my long warm coat with me um, because I could just use it as a blanket, it was really freezing. It's quite funny because the first drivers we had, I could feel that they just kept heating blasting all the time and it was really warm and people were taking off the layers. 
Um, and then the next drivers we had, they just switched off the heating and it was freezing. Like maybe, I don't know, it was below 15 degrees. And when you're trying to have a nap, when you're trying to sleep, it doesn't help when it's freezing cold. No USB at front seat and no Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, so I could see that people did have the small USB things. They could plug their phones. Um, and they also had different tables so they can put their phones on the tables but maybe because I was sitting at the very front I could not find any USB so I couldn't charge my phone um, I had power pack uh, there was no Wi-Fi at all through the whole journey I was checking and especially in Scotland it can be a problem because we don't have a good reception between the cities and between the towns it's quite funny there was actually a poster right next to me on the window saying oh um, we have USBs to charge your phone and we have a Wi-Fi, just connect to this Wi-Fi flex pass thing. Um, and I had none of them, so it was quite ironic, but hey-ho, we survived. Now, sitting in the front, I noticed that I had much better views than people just sitting next to the, win just next to the window um, or in the middle aisle. Uh, and it was easier for people to go for a smoke, so even when we had three minutes stop, um, I do not smoke, but the guy next to me, he would just come out and just vape real quick and just come back, it would take him like maybe one minute. Uh, if you would be sitting at the back, I don't think you would be putting on your shoes and walking down, you know, leaving the bus and then coming back. Uh, plus there are people coming in and leaving, so it's, um, it's not so easy to do. The minuses was that it was very cold during the stops, the doors would open and all the cold air would come in and they were switching on the heating only for the bus stops but it was still really really cold. Um, the lights were off in the whole bus, the whole journey which was great but again at the front every time they stopped and opened the door I had the lights from the drivers just blasting in front of my face. Um, so it wasn't great. And I didn't have my eye mask, but I have the hat, so I could just do this. Um, and it worked. But if you're sitting at the back, it would be easier because there's no, um, there's no lights just, you know, in front of your face. Oh yeah, and it was quite noisy. Obviously people are leaving and then you have people coming in and they would be showing their tickets. They would be asking drivers about things. Um, so it was quite loud and obviously everyone would be passing by like right next to me and kind of you know brushing your feet or something if it's sticking out a bit so that was not the best. Uh, if you would be sitting through the back you, would, you probably wouldn't even just notice most of those. And uh, I could hear the drivers talking. They were talking very rarely through the night. Um, bless them. Because it must be hard just sitting in a silence, no radio middle of the night, nobody's talking, the bus is completely silent and you can't even talk to your colleague, right? Uh, but they were trying to be very respectful and that's also why I didn't talk to the camera at all because I didn't want to be rude and people were trying to sleep. So it was so quiet, I was actually shocked. Um, I was kind of ready for like screaming children and all of that. Uh, maybe people partying or just people chatting, but everyone was quiet, everyone was still were not walking around, they were not moving their luggage, it was good, it was fine. Uh, and this is it, yeah. Okay, okay, now the exciting bit. I have the thing. We'll see what we're going to do in London. What is our next step? Welcome to the end of the line. No more travel till quarter past nine. Your work is done now, please relax. We'll see you later in some trunks. And that sounds like... See you at 9.30... No, quarter past nine. Oh no, I cannot be late. Um, <laughs> I have quarter past nine... Tracks? Train tracks? We will see, we will see. I do have 11 hours and I have absolutely no plans. Um, so either I'll just sit in a coffee shop all day um, or I'll maybe go for a wonder because I have nothing planned because I have no idea where I will be, what I'll do uh, I actually checked the weather and it says it will not be raining in London today so let's hope <laughs> and I don't have an umbrella but I can always buy it
but I don't want to carry it. I'm tired. I'm not tired, I'm okay. Okay, so let's go, let's go. And let's see what we can do in 11 hours. I have no idea what I'm recording. After walking around in the museum for ages, I'm getting tired, so I want to go outside. Um, it is quarter to six, and I have three bits of envelope saying open it at six, but we'll just open it now. Um, okay, let me have a look. Well, I expect more riddles, but let's have a look. Let's read it together. Peel this bag by six o'clock. Let's say it's six. I hope the words don't bring you shock. Great. With Houston? I can't find a rhyme, but please be there in plenty time. You got this. Half past eight should be fine. Okay. Find your brain and stand in line. Um, okay, so Houston, I guess it's the station? I'll Google it. Um, 8.30... We need to be on the station and I just hope, I just pray it's not a subway station because I do not feel very confident um, taking a subway in London. We did this before, me and Steven, but yeah, he was kind of always taking me places and he was telling me where to go and stuff. Um, so we'll see, I'll have a look. We're going, we're leaving the museum. We have two and a half an hour to be on the station. And it's dark already, check it out. So now if I manage to find a way out, I'll take you to my favorite store in the whole London. Um, and you would never believe what it is. Or maybe you would. Uh, let's go outside.
25 minutes walk to the station if I won't get lost which I want <laughs> yeah the one I'm at is Euston Square station So I know it's not an underground then. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I actually do recognize the station. We were here before. Um, which is a good sign because that means I'm just taking train home. So hopefully it takes me straight to Montrose like it did last time. Uh, I just need to find my train Which I can't see yet, so I guess I can just go and have a nice meal um, and sit down and I'll come back Milton Keynes Central This train is called of eight coaches I was absolutely starving today um, and that's my third coffee but it will keep me going I guess so I got my ticket and I've got 35 minutes to catch my train which should be fine maybe I should hurry up a bit because I want to change my uh, jeans into PJ pants just to be a bit more comfortable. Um, so let's go and find my train. First go to the station line. Okay. Just go and sit down. Just go down. And your seat number uh -huh. is three. 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 Okay, three. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. You too. So apparently I have a seat. I don't have a bed. Which I think I expected it because it's supposed to be a challenge. It would be too good with the bed, right? Okay. Put your phone. Uh, is it? Yes, it's put your phone. Excellent. Awesome. Seat numbers and above the seats Like that people in the back. Look at guys. Um, <laughs> it's the first time driving since my dad's. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just doing it. So I was like, no, I don't know.
Is this yours? Yeah, that's us here now. That door is open. Everyone else is going to Aberdeen, so the bus will go direct. Oh, so you're the only yeah. person. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I will find you outside. Just make your way up. So if um, I see you there, I'll help you find okay, your okay. own taxi. But I thank think you'll be fine. Cheers. Please stay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Aberdeen. You guys are going to Aberdeen. Yeah. What's the song like? Every breath you take. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Apparently, the train is not going anywhere. It stops in Dundee for whatever reason. And there is a bus replacement to Aberdeen. Uh, but I am not going to Aberdeen. So they booked me a taxi. But I can't see it. But I'll find it. I actually don't even know where the taxi stop is in Dundee. Uh, it's pretty empty, so you would think I'll see it, but hey. And it's 6 a.m. You'd think the city would be bouncing, but nope. McDonald's is open though. Hi there. Um, are you behind the bus, the coach? Oh no no I like I don't know where they book the taxi because that's the train company. Okay okay. Alright okay, let me go and have a look. Okay, let me go and have a look. One second. Yeah, I'm trying to find a taxi but I don't know where yeah, they're I can't we can't find Are you them looking for one? Are you booked for it as well? Yeah we have them booked already by the company, so Well the story is that my driver is not here. Um, and other people are waiting for taxis as well, which are not here, so I don't know. <laughs> oh gee, it really is slippery, wow! Honestly, oh, no. we oh, didn't even make it home yet and we're already <laughs> sketching in this. Oh bloods. I guess I could just jump in. That's me, yes, yeah. And where are you going, darling? Montrose. You're good. You're just taking her. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you. You see, I was waiting with other people and they were going to a different place, but there was like six of them. Oh, where are they going? I think they're going Arbroath. I don't know. <laughs> I am going to Arbroath, but you have to give me five minutes. Yeah, that's fine. I all the things back. No worries, you take your time. I'm not in a rush. I wonder where this coach is going to. Well, they are going Stonehaven and Aberdeen. Oh, but, right. Okay. Yeah, but they don't stop in Aberdeen. What's wrong with the bus, love? I don't know. I, I don't. Sorry, the train. What's wrong with the train? I don't know. I don't understand. They never actually told us what's happening. So where are you coming from? Right, we were coming from London. So you're coming all the way from London to yes. go to Montrose, and the train is stopped over here. Yes, that's what happened. Yeah. I just wonder what's wrong with the train that why it stopped over here. Yeah, I don't know. They never said what actually happened. You too. With your uh, <laughs> <With> the video. <laughs> Thank you. Will you drive safely? Thank you, I hope it's not too icy when you'll be driving back. No, 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 I just don't want that to happen. No. Okie dokie, thank you. Have a lovely day. So that's me back in Montrose after 14 hours on the bus, then 12 hours in London and 10 hours on the train, which wasn't really 10 hours. Um, we spent like 40 minutes on a taxi, I would say. You see, I could take the replacement bus and go from Dundee to Aberdeen to start in Aberdeen and finish in Aberdeen, but then I would have to take another bus down to Montrose again, and it didn't make any sense. And that looks like an option for me. So it is six past seven now, 
and we'll finish here when I'm just walking home. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed. I did enjoy, although it was really, really tough, especially the night on the train. I slept maybe 45 minutes uh, and it wasn't the best experience. Somebody was sitting next to me, then I had to move. Um, but it's okay, it was a challenge. It felt like a challenge, that's for sure. And yeah, the bus journey was actually fun. I liked it. Okie dokie. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and there's nothing else to say. Good morning and good night.